Hello everybody, this is your man Killer Miller and as you guys already know I kind of keep things old school. I don't have any light um, facts or um, any editing to my video. It's just plain old school YouTube. You see what you get and no bullshitting, no holding things back, no none of that kind of stuff. The real deal. This is it. This is all. And I like to keep it that way. Um, well, I've got four different beers here right now. Um, all of these are made by Great Western. Same company, every single one of them. And these three in the line, these are their new... Um, looks they re-improved the look in their eyes they wanted to make a new can um, not for the original 16 but for the great western products um, and here's one of them this one is a little less gold than the other classic before this is their pilsner practically the same color another one was a little more darker green I found and then they got this new lineup, which is the Lager. They've never had this before. And I understand what I'm missing is the light. I just don't drink light beer. Some people drink it, and that's cool. That you, you're totally entitled to that. And I'm not going to insult your disc out for it. That's what you like. That's cool. But, uh, and then here is uh, the, the brew house. Um, this one's, I guess, more of the portable version um, I just threw that one in there because I had it in the fridge and I thought you know I don't know if I've done it or not I haven't really looked back but I thought I'd tr exp uh, bring that one as well it's also a Pilsner so is this one so, so I thought I'd bring that as well and see kind of the difference between those two but uh, I'm going to turn the light a little bit here I said I have no editing with my lighting. That's my editing right for right there with my my lighting. This is turn on the damn light. Um, and I know I'm using my phone. It's nothing special about it. I understand that as well. Uh, if I had more equipment, if I had the right stuff, and I did this more, I would probably invest in that. But I just don't see that happening anytime soon. But anywho. I'm rambling and rambling. Let's get back to on to what the heck we're supposed to do here. So this one, I think what I'm going to do actually is going to flip these two. So I've got these type of glasses. I've only got three of them and I've got four here. So I thought I'd do the, the Great Western specific ones and then made by Great Western. Um, with a lower end, more quality, I'd try to put that one in the glass here. So, okay. Start with the classic. There's the pour. So you can see. That's the pour from the classic, and that's the new look to it. All five percent, every one of them. Here's the, the lager, new in line, the lager one. Five percent as well. Found this one to be a little darker from what I've seen. I've never compared them all before like that, but what I've seen is it's all a little darker. Okay. Got the Pilsner here. Ready to come a little closer. Let's look at the can right there. I like the new look. Honestly, I like the old look. I liked it all. As long as the beer stays the same. Sometimes when they change the look, they also change the product. That's what we want. We want to 
consistency there. You're gonna change the product, make it a new new product. Don't just have the same product and change it. That doesn't make that makes no sense to me. so far the lightest here I'll maybe what I need to do invest in some lighting that's when no one can see my colors like I can't move my phone it's gonna work it's gonna get down by then there's nothing to adjust it and yeah my phone is sitting on some bookcase right now so I can hold it steady I don't even have uh, whatever those or tripod I think that's what it's called Holy crap, this one's just fizzing like crazy. You see that? Like in comparison, holy shit, man. This one's just look, losing its mind. Wanting to get those bubbles out like it's in one giant hurry. This one's just chilling. has the least amount of... But then also, it could be the glass too. You know, these ones are a lot taller, so it enforces you kind of to splash a bit. Yeah, so this one... Is most definitely the lightest. This one's a little, little head hair darker. My fly going. And um, this one's a little darker. similar very similar there's small little things like this one kind of has this grassy kind of smell which makes sense for a pilsner this one has a greeny smell this one has the greeny smell but a little more citrus and then this one that one honestly kind of smells like barley mixed with corn does that make sense that's what that smells like anywho I'm gonna go on uh, drinking here. I don't want to make this a 20 minute video. Sorry. It says smooth and flavorful for the description. Flavorful is for sure. This one's smooth and easy drinking. Shows it right on the top there. All the cans have those. This one's smooth and easy drinking. Okay. Easier drinking. Meaning like, like not as much flavor. This one's a little less dull than the flavor. Not saying it's bad. Just this one pops more of the greenish. That smell, this one. Especially goes with the smell. This one has a little citrus in there, but not a greeny taste. Not as not as popping for flavor. It's just a little hint as well. Okay, great way of stirring pills now. <coughs> oh, Barbara. That one's got 
more of a hoppy taste actually. It's weird. There are other great westerns they had before before this one. Actually didn't have as much of a hop figure in this one. This one I think is more unknown. Especially when you warm this up. If it's really cold, I found it's one of really which all these are from the fridge, but if I was to warm this up a bit, yeah, you can really taste the hops a lot more. Alright, and then I got this one right here. Last but not least. As in the taste, it's got a barley, very small hint of corn, kind of. Not really that flavorful, to be honest with you. It's okay. It's not a bad one. It's most affordable, affordable out of them all. That's where I bought it from Costco. Bought a 48 pack. Quite cheap. Calgary. Way to go. Alright. If I was to pick the best one, I'm still going to have to go with the classic. It's still my favorite. It still has the most flavor. Wheat flavor too. I really, I mean, not wheat, but barley flavor because there's no wheat in this book. Britain. most barley flavor most flavorful of them all I think so and then I'd have to go second I'd have to go with this Pilsner the hops in there is actually quite nice not too hoppy not bitter really it's got slight bitterness but that's kind of what a Pilsner just should have but um, yeah I go second so first second third and fourth but they're all really good. You throw these at me, I'm drinking every single one of them. I'm just picking what would I choose. And the classic is still a winner in my eyes. The Lager's still really good though. I can see why some people would really like this because if you didn't like any of the hops and you didn't like something that's too, you know, flavorful of a, for every mouthful, you know, some people don't want that. They just want it to be straight down the gullet, straight, Kind of almost like water, but it's but it's still beer. This one's kind of way to go. This one's kind of got a bit of an adjunct. I just don't really like in there, but I do still still enjoy it. I just like I said before, I'm not repeating myself. Anyways, yeah, you guys have a gooder, and uh, hopefully you guys try this. So hopefully someone does. I haven't really seen any of this on the in internet. Uh, it's been kind of hard just to even see reviews. It's I don't think I've seen any videos, so so I want to do this. Anywho, see you guys.